This video is gonna be a little different than other free versus paid resolve videos because I haven't seen anything where people actually talk about the real day-to-day -day needs of a professional video editor and whether or not the free version can handle those needs compared to the paid version. That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video so that you can decide for yourself if it's time to make the switch. And if you're new here, I'm Allie and Will and I release weekly tutorials all about video editing, gear reviews, as well as videography tips and tricks. And in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be releasing a whole whack load of tutorials all about the effects that I discuss in this video. So let's hop in there and get to comparing. First off, I gotta say the free version is pretty awesome. It's backed with a lot of great features. There's no sneaky moves. Like they put limits on how often you can use it. You can use it offline. Get to update to the latest versions when they come out. You can create timelines and export in up to 60 frames per second. In resolutions as high as 3840 by 2160. And overall, I found this to work fine for me because I export and deliver in 1080p or 4K at 24 FPS. Commonly used video files like H.264 will run slower on the free version, which I have found to be a bit annoying. The free version does support pretty much all 8-bit video formats, but footage shot at a bitrate of 10 just doesn't handle too well on the free version. And the free version only uses one GPU, whereas the studio version utilizes multiple GPUs, which will make Resolve operate faster and give you better performance. The free version does include a good chunk of effects that I use on a regular basis, like audio syncing, freeze frame, stabilization on shaky footage, slow-mo, green screen chroma keying. There are also a lot of title effects. And they haven't held back in the color page. Even in the free version, you can still color correct and color grade your footage to look pro. And as a casual video editor, you can get away with editing professional quality videos. So while I've been getting by using the free version, as a pro editor who's working on multiple video projects every week, time is money. I need to be able to work really efficiently with as little hiccups as possible. And the studio version gives me not only better performance, but also more tools and effects that are intuitive to work with and save me loads of time. The studio beta version allows you to create instant closed captions, subtitles. It's way less time consuming compared to working in the free version where I have to manually type out all of the words my talking head is saying. I work on a lot of videos where there are people on screen and I need to make their skin look really good. While I can make someone's skin look better in the free version of Resolve, and on a side note, I created a tutorial showing you how to do so, it takes longer. And the studio version's face refinement tool is phenomenal. You can smooth textured skin, reduce under eye bags, and much more. Another thing that can definitely save your butt is being able to denoise footage. You can do this in the free version, but it's already complicated, especially compared to denoising in the studio version, which you can do super fast with just one effect. And one of my favorite features is Magic Mask. It lets you isolate and track an object so that you can do things like change the sky out, add text behind a mountain, or isolate a person and put them in a different scene. I don't know if you've ever tried to mask and track something in the free version, but it's pretty time consuming. Smart Reframe is another awesome feature in Studio. I find it really handy when you're using a horizontally shot clip and you wanna make it vertical for social media and you need to quickly have your subject stay in the center of the frame. Just one more thing that makes life easier in the Studio version. When it comes to working with dialogue audio, another major need I have is the ability to remove distracting, annoying background noises. In the free version of Resolve, there are some ways, but I still gotta say, I just spat. I still gotta say, the paid version has a tool that reduces and can even remove annoying background noises really, really well. Just check out this before and after. We're gonna take a look at how to create mask transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve, so let's hop in there. We're gonna take a look at how to create mask transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve, so let's hop in there. Pretty awesome. Relight is another unreal tool available in the studio version. It literally allows you to add lights to a scene in post. That is wild. And another amazing thing about the studio version is that you pay for it just once, a one-time fee, and then it's yours forever. 
and that includes all future updates. So that's the bulk of the effects, the tools, and the needs that I have as a professional video editor and have brought me to the decision that I am going to switch to the studio version. So what do you think? Is it time to make the switch? Let me know in the comments below and to stay in the loop and see the whack load of DaVinci Resolve tutorials that I'm going to be sharing in the coming weeks, subscribe to our channel. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in another video. Bye.